Hello everyone, so Russia's newest UCAV drone, Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle, has decided to emulate other Russian Air Force jets by crashing. The drone in question here is called the Sokol Altius. This first video playing now shows a crash site. This is in Kazan. I also have a few other videos which I'm now playing, showing the drone in flight shortly before the crash. This is a test flight, not a combat operation. In one of the videos, you can see the drone is being escorted by a Cessna Skymaster. And in another video, moments before the crash, you can see the Altus drone flying very low over residential houses. As we saw in the aftermath video, it did crash into some building. So, also emulating Russian air defence missiles here by intercepting civilian buildings. The Altius is a new combat drone designed to perform reconnaissance strike and electronic warfare missions for Russia. They're currently being tested and interestingly, Russia had just three prototypes of these. This is the drone which has suffered many setbacks. Firstly, France stopped the export of engines for it, forcing Russia to develop its own, which is likely why this one crashed. In 2018, the at the time director of SOCOL was arrested for embezzling 900 million rubles allocated for the development of the drone, so about $15. Russia is putting a lot of eggs in the Altius basket, intending this to form the backbone of Russia's heavy drone fleet for the future. They're intended to be armed, but no mention as to what these will be armed with. I imagine it will serve a similar role to the Bayraktar or Reaper drones. We have some figures of its performance though. This comes from Russian sources, so it's likely bollocks. They claim it can fly at a range of 10,000 kilometers, has an endurance of 24 hours, and a service ceiling of 12,000 meters. This one flew for about 10 kilometers for 24 minutes, and that's an altitude of 12 meters before suddenly dropping to an altitude of zero. It came down in the area of Borisoglebsk Air Base, shown here, and not a huge distance from Ukraine here, surprisingly. I thought drone testing would be done out of the way to prevent the chance of these being destroyed in a Ukrainian drone attack or Ukraine managing to monitor the flight and testing and that sort of thing. I did consider whether this was going to be a test flight over Ukraine itself being here, test its capabilities in field. But the presence of the escort in Cessna makes me think that wasn't the case. So far, this does seem like an accident. I can't see any sign yet of Ukrainian hands being involved in this. I guess Russia discovered with this little test flight that we need to go back to the drawing board with it. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks very much and take care everybody.